Well, hello everyone. Uh, I'm not going to film my face in this video because I'm still in my hair towel while it's uh, plopping. It's like a curl method thing. Whatever. I, I look like a crazy person because my hair's up in a towel. But this is from Rement and it's called Witch's House. This is not new. It's, I think, from two years ago. That doesn't matter because I had to decide what I wanted to do with all of the adorable stuff in here. And I wasn't sure at the time what I wanted to do with it. But now I have a plan and it's a secret and it involves all, you'll know soon, but it's a secret for now. And it involves all of my miniature painting supplies and my 3D printer. So anyway, oh look, they give you a little floor and a little backdrop that you can tape together, it looks like, if you wished it to. So you have a floor here and it tells you where to put stuff. And then you have a backdrop here if you wanted to make this into uh, the whole pictured room, basically. So these are you would rip off. And of course, I will destroy the whole box. So we don't really need to undo the whole box, but if I can get it off quickly, I will. So this is how you would face your shelf if you were a shop owner. Ah! No, I'm a knife. Got the knife back. Uh, you would face your shelves with these, but I want to get this one open because I have another one coming, and I have the base of what I hope will be a cute idea to use with all of these. So, anyway, something like this. You would fold it up once it's detached. Oh, see, it doesn't tell you to detach that, as though I'm supposed to, like, use this to certify it. It's a little confusing. Oh, okay. Do I make these match up? Well, anyway, if you assembled them somehow, you would get a backdrop. We're just going to use the floor for now. Wonderful. Okay, I am going to set you up a little closer so you can see me undo these, and I will ASMR unwrap them more than likely uh, so that you can just hear the fun tones of them being opened but this is the witch's house which we will soon be placing in a house for a different witch that has nothing to do with this set because they don't include people for these they just give you adorable things that you want to use for everything all right let us asmr in box the first one Okay, I got everybody tidied up here. You can see that this is number five, a letter from nowhere. Weird. I don't know if the owl brought it or if he's involved with the tea. But we have a rocking chair, an owl who evidently will hold that letter. And these come in every single box and you can cut them out and use them as like little menus. This is an invitation to the tea, I presume. But we have our owl here. It's beautifully painted, and it does look like his mouth can accept the letter. Let's try. I'm doing this through the camera, so I don't... It is a struggle. Come on, buddy, grab it. You know you want to carry this letter. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yay! Owl holding letter. Great. And we have our little... Oh, gosh. We have our rocking chair, which I can repaint to look much more like real wood with my miniature kit. And then we have our teapot here that has a detachable lid that I'm going to immediately put into a baggie. Precious. And then we have the tea, which is a little wonky in its cup. I'm gonna have to try and get it out of there with a tweezer. But there's a little chamomile to float on the top of the tea. And it's little base. Amazing. All right. Let's do another one. Oh my god, these are going to get lost. I'm going to go get a bag for these, like, literally right now. Please pause.
Okay, let's see who we've got here. This is called the What Will Be Made Up. So I presume this is like your incantation station and where you light fires. We also have a mineralogy and flying potion and a love potion, which you can cut out and use little pieces of paper, which is adorable. We will save that. Here is the cooking area. Here is the fire, adorable. So it's gonna go underneath like that. So we have our fire over the top. Let me see if I can rotate you down so you can see it a little better. The light gets so crazy when I angle it down like this. Anyway, so here's our fire underneath the fireplace. Here is our cauldron that goes right on the top, adorable. And here is the potion for the inside. Wonderful. And then look at this little bottle. Look at it. Ah, there's like a little rock in there. It is like all rainbowy. It's really hard to see, but it does like flash rainbowy, like a little piece of bismuth or something. So cute. I love that. And then we have a magic uh, staff that has been bent. So I'm going to have to flatten him back out, but that is pretty great. Let's go for another one. what I'm talking about with Rement being the very best stuff. Secret Preparation, this one's called, and it has some mushroom infographics and some plant infographics there, and backs so you can fold these up so they look like little booklets perhaps. So cute. So we have that for the witch. Okay, now we have the witch's desk. These drawers come out. Ah! There's a little... There's a little mushroom hiding in the back of the drawer. It's not movable. It's just hiding in there. I never would have seen that. Is there one in the other drawer? No, it's naked. Okay, and then the dress desk top slides out as an extra workspace, which is adorable. Oh gosh, those just come right out. I have to work on that. These ones are a really beautiful shaded color. Okay, and now this one I think is supposed to hold this pipette deal. So we have this one that's like the beautiful blown glass for chemistry or alchemy in this case. So that goes on the desk apparently. And then this guy has just popped apart. There's nothing wrong with it. It just needs to be assembled here. Looks like, yes. And that just looks like it needs probably a little bit of glue. But we have this little bottle here to work with and it shows it being held in this cool claw hand. So the claw hand holds onto this guy. Very cool. And then we have this little purple dealy with the world's tiniest pipette. Uh, oh, it's so cute. But it just rests in there? Well, it doesn't, though. It doesn't sit in there. Barely. Okay, well, that's a near thing. We're going to have to put that in a plastic baggie or we'll lose it. That'll be gone in a hot minute. And then we have a little Benson burner. <laughs> Look, it's so cute with the little blue flames. Oh, I love the little Bunsen burner. Okay, let's do another. Okay, let's see what we've got. This looks like a little plant, which kind of shenanigan. It says homegrown specialty. We have some herbal information, a saffron packet that you can fold up, a gardening journal. So cute. Weird that there's nowhere to write in the gardening journal. Oh, it's been journaled. You're just, you're that experienced. I get it. Okay. And we got a plague doxer mask. Okay. So here's the little shelf. The wood more matches the alchemy kit than it does anything else. 
here is, oh my god, the little play doctor mask. I have to find out what part, like, what toy they intend for you to put this on, because I'm going to put it on a calico critter, and that's what's going to happen here. Okay, then we have this awesome little jar that I think these mushrooms go into. Yes. And we have a sticker that it came with. Where to go? Here it is. We have a little sticker that says glowing mushrooms on it. So we can stick that on there if we so choose. Absolutely adorable. So the other one probably has a sticker that goes on to something too. But if it's not written in English, I don't find it that awesome because I can't read it. Okay, so we have glowing mushrooms in a jar. So cute. So cute. No. My little plague doctor mask here. Wonderful. We have little pruning shears that are itty bitty. We have, oh, it's a, it's a little carrier for the pruning shears. Oh my god, they open. You're kidding. Stop. Stop it. No. Oh my god. Uh, see, this is why they're so good. Never buy anything but Japanese dollhouse stuff. I swear. It's not worth it. And then we have a mandrake and his dirt. Well, I didn't know Harry Potter was coming, but there's a, a baby mandrake in a pot. He looks furious. And he, he, well, you can make him just look like a pot too. So if you don't want it to look like a baby, it's a plant. All right, let's do another one. Okay, I've done my best to get us all set up here because, and I brought a bag because God knows I'm going to lose all of these instantly. So we have the mortar and pestle that's like a, a grindy style one with veg, a little bit of vegetable, vegetable matter in there. And they have these cute little medieval looking feet and they look very much like cast iron. This one's called the Spellbook Says. And we have these little specimens that I had to put in here. This is to be rolled up and put in one of the tubes. We have plant medicinals, and these are just so tiny. Okay, so then we have our herbs here. We have this incredibly tiny bottle with a lid that works. Shocking. And I'm going to put it in a bag as soon as I finish this. And then we have our little test tubes that the corks come off of, so you can look at them. And we have... The spell book, which is so beautifully painted, as ever. And that looks like Middle German from the Middle Ages, but that's fine. And let's uh, go through the last two real quick. Okay, this one is called Tell Me About My Future, and it looks like we've been given a pendulum and a pendulum board. We've got like a little table mat and some plant-like tarot cards. Let's zoom you in so you can see a little better. Okay, we have... Where'd my crystal ball go? It rolled away. Here we go. We have a crystal ball. Feels like actual glass, which is strange. Crystal ball. Check. We have our pendulum mat and a pendulum to dangle over it. Wonderful. We have this beautiful candle. It's a little bent. We will try to write him. And a fantastic table that 
is again another color of wood which I like matching wood and that might just be me but let's do the last box together Okay, so that was our last one, and this one is called Go For A Flight. It is the witch's uh, hat, her broom, a lantern, a cool little box. We have pictures of her and a friend who's apparently a ghost. We have a picture of a witch and her grandma, a happy birthday card. Very cute. So maybe she's going to a party. So here's a gift card that she has uh, made perhaps for her grandmother or whomever she's going to visit. Is her grandmother dead? Nobody knows. That's uh, weird and inexplicable. And apparently I'm supposed to be able to fold. Oh, it's to make a pop-up card with an owl in it. I'm not going to do that. I do not have the patience. But here is our broom. As always, gorgeous quality. I feel like we could get some miniature paint on here and zhuzh it up. We have an adorable witch's hat, which will be going on a calico critter pretty quick here. And we have a fancy necklace. Come on, buddy, you can focus. Does this move? It really moves in there. I, the detail level is unreal. And we have this lantern with a crystal inside. No, it's so cute. There's a little angular crystal in there. And we have a scroll. It's real paper. This is rubber, the wrapper, but this is paper. And lastly, we have this fabulous jewelry box. It does not have mushrooms in it. I've been checking everything for mushrooms ever since that drawer incident. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick, fun look at the Rement witch's house. I think it's absolutely adorable. As always, it's incredibly well made. I got this on AliExpress, I think for about $89 when it was newer. They're hard to find now. Um, and you will see someday what I have planned for this. So I thank you all so much. And the shout out of the day goes to Emily Smith. Thank you for being a patron and for coming along with me on our silly journeys through all this fun, cute, witchy stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!